Got an interesting mushroom to share with you guys today. This mushroom is called the glistening ink cap mushroom or the mica cap mushroom. And you can see that they grow in clusters. They grow off uh, rotting wood. So usually you find them like around old tree stumps or I think these ones are actually growing off of an old rotting root underneath the ground. I find it always on my property around these massive tree stumps around my house. Every year these things usually pop up. When they first come up out of the ground they have like a bell shape to them, but they open up a little bit as they get older. You can see uh, there's these uh, grooves in them that run all the way up to the center. And they do have gills, let me pop one off here and I'll show you underneath. That's what underneath looks like. You can look up online what their spore print looks like. I mean, it's a little tiny mushroom. They're not very big, as you can see. They're a, you know, they're a pretty little mushroom. They got like this orange color to them at first when they're real young. Uh, it turns into more of a brown, and as you can see, almost like a grayish black. But yeah, there's, uh, these ones grow on our, my property every year. They're very early in the year, you know, but they, I mean, they grow up randomly throughout the year. You know, I'll see these randomly in the summer. I usually see them before anything. Right now it's mid-April and these guys just came up. I haven't seen any morels or any kind of uh, pheasant backs yet, but this, I've seen these. I just wanted to share them with you and get a good video of them. Yeah, they're called the glistening ink cap mushroom when they're first up out of the ground they they kind of have a little bit of a shine to them i think that's how they're why they're called the glistening ink cap and um, they are edible you can eat these uh, they say i have personally never eaten these there's not a lot of nutritional value to them and i've read online that they're pretty bland they don't have a lot of flavor to them a lot of recipes online are just basically tossing them in with eggs, like making them with an omelet. You have a very little amount of time after picking these. You have to cook them right away. Within two hours, they just fall apart. They disintegrate into like a black, oozy like ink. And um, that's where they get their name. It's, you know, it's like this black ink that they turn into. It's called auto digestion. But if you get them in the pan and you start cooking them, the auto digestion stops. So, I mean, the mushroom will keep its integrity, you know, if you, as long as you're cooking it and you're getting it in the pan quickly. But, you know, if you had a bunch of them in the pan, I'm saying like in a survival situation, you'd want to gather these up. You know, it's, it's something to eat. <clears throat> they do grow in these clusters, so I mean, you know, if you were actually out to gather these, I don't think it would take long to get a good amount of them. But me, you know, to go out and look for mushrooms to eat, I, I do look for choice mushrooms to eat. So I'm going to take a pass on these. But you can see after a day, and these things are just disintegrating and falling apart. They're starting to dry up a little bit, but you can see where they were like literally dripping. Another interesting fact about ink cap mushrooms, they uh, carry a chemical called coprine. And if you consume coprine and drink alcohol, it will make you very, very sick. You'll have a flush reaction and just basically expel the alcohol from your body. Pharmacists isolate coprine out of these mushrooms and they make a anti-alcoholism pill it's like a lot of times it's court ordered but yeah if you take that pill and you drink alcohol you get very very sick the same thing is true with ink cap mushrooms but the glistening ink cap is not known to have coprine uh, still they do warn you not to consume alcohol if you eat these mushrooms just in case